Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, I live on a busy street now so you may hear some street noises. I'm going to buy a lab eventually to negate the sound of the streets. I recently ordered a bunch of makeup off the Fenty Beauty slash Fenty Skin semi-annual friends and family sale. I get notified right away because I've been buying from them since they launched and I stock up every single time. And that prompted me to be like, wow, I have a lot of backups. <laughs> I'm a backup kind of bitch, I realized. And I thought maybe that that would be something that I could share with you guys, like what are my backups and why they are my backups. So we're gonna do a backups video today. Very old school YouTube. Um, but if you guys wanna see what my backups are, let's just do it then. I'm gonna start with skincare products. There is a good 50-50 portion between skincare and makeup here. Um, but I get really excited about the skincare. So first things first, I have not one, not two, but three of the Fenty Total Cleanser. This is my absolute favorite cleanser of all time. I've used a ton. I used to use one from Neutrogena. I used one from Fresh. I used one from First Aid Beauty. I've done bare minerals. Like I've tried every cleanser out there and it always feels like those cleansers stripped my skin. I have incredibly dry skin and either they didn't strip the skin but it didn't feel like my skin was clean or they really, really cleaned but my skin was so stripped and so dry and so uncomfortable after and tight. I hate it. When Fenty, when Miss Rihanna launched her Fenty brand, I literally bought the trio. I bought the cleanser, I bought the toner, and I bought the moisturizer. And right away, the first night I used this, I knew it was going to be my favorite. It is very, it's foamy, it cleans all the dirt out, but it doesn't strip the skin. It leaves me feeling clean. <laughs> I don't know what a better way to put it is, but because it doesn't over dry out my skin, I feel like my skincare products for the rest of the day don't have to do double duty. I don't know. I always buy two to three on these sales. I've been buying three recently because I tend to like run out of it more than I think I do. So obviously when I can get them 30% off, I do get them. My first skincare item is these cleansers. Truly, if you need a cleanser, try this one. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Next from Fenty Skin. <laughs> We have three toners. To be fair, I didn't realize I had an extra toner in my backups already while I was doing this uh, Fenty Skin order. I'm dog sitting, so I'm not home all the time. So I just didn't remember if I had one or not. I got the hydrating toner. Originally, when it first came out, I got the original fat water, which I think worked really, really well. I did feel like I wanted a little bit more moisture. So when the hydrating one came out, the last sale, I guess I had bought two, because I have one open right now, because I wanted to test it out and see what I thought about it. And if I wanted to go back to the regular fat water or stay with the hydrating fat water. And honestly, truly, this is so good. But it really does a great job of toning and also hydrating the skin. I immediately saw a difference. Honestly, since I've switched to this routine, I even have less acne than when I used the original fat water. I do have breakout acne on my chin sometimes and my cheeks sometimes when I'm really stressed. And I feel like perhaps because this is formulated more for dry skin, this has just done even more than the original fat water has done. So I cannot be without this. I have three bottles of it. This will last me probably like nine months. Can you tell I'm like a little crazy? Also, here's my philosophy about backups. If I know it's a tried and true, it's a favorite and it's on sale and I know I'm gonna use it, why would I pay full price? And if I know I use it every single day, twice a day, and I know how much usually it gets me to the next sale, like why not buy enough to get me to the next, you know what I mean? That's just my philosophy. Uh, on skincare, I also have in my backups this Glow Recipe Plump, Plum Plump Hyaluron, wow, I can never say this word, Hyaluronic Serum. This was in a BoxyCharm back when it was brand new and I really enjoyed the serum. I don't remember too much about it. I feel like serums, I use a new serum like every time. I haven't found a serum I love, love, love and stick with all the time. Right now I'm using one from uh, Volition, but I remember enjoying this. So when it was an option for my FabFitFun, I decided I'm gonna get it and when I'm done with my Volition one, which I really enjoy, I'm gonna try this one again and see how I like it. So it was good the first time. I'm gonna see if it's great this time. I love, I used to use the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream for my night cream, and it was just so expensive. And then I found the CeraVe night cream, and it changed everything. This 
is even more hydrating than the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It is a fraction of the price, and you can always find these for buy one, get one half off on Ulta Beauty. I always have a backup of this. I'm using one right now. It takes me about two or three months to go through one of these. They're incredible, but obviously when it's buy one, get one half off, I'm gonna buy two and get 25% off both. You know what I mean? It's such a good night cream. I recommended it to, to someone who has more sensitive skin than I do and they were not a fan. So if you have sensitive skin, see if you can get a sample of this or maybe see if you can borrow some of someone's and test it on your face because I feel like maybe this isn't sensitive skin friendly and perhaps I don't have as sensitive skin as I thought I did. But this is phenomenal. This is a ride or die product. And then last but not least for skincare, I have one from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Age Defy Eye Concentrate. For me, the things that I switch out pretty constantly are eye creams and serums. I do absolutely adore this eye cream from Bare Minerals. It's the Skin Longevity Eye Cream. I love it so much. It never goes on sale. And so I'm inclined to try things that do go on sale. I had made a big Fresh order a while ago because I do use their essence, their kombucha essence. So good. And they given me a sample of this and I really enjoyed it. It's a very thick cream. It's not really watery. You don't need a lot and it really is intensely hydrating. So this was on sale at 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta and I thought I would pick it up because I'm almost out of the Belief Eye Balm eye cream that I'm using and I thought, let me try this eye cream. Okay, and then we go into makeup. I'm fucking neurotic. Okay, the first thing I have is the bio blender from eco tools i do have one of the packages already open so i have three backup sponges this is the best sponge i've ever used i know there is criticism that this sponge pierces easily it does that um you know when you first run it under the water like it's purple for like the first i don't know three or four times when you like really wash it it is i don't think the purple never transfers to the face i love that this is biodegradable the packaging is biodegradable but also Back in the day, I feel like the Real Technique sponge was up there with the Beauty Blender. It was phenomenal, and then they changed the formula on me one time, and it didn't work for me anymore. This is like the old Real Techniques formula. This is like a dupe for the Beauty Blender. This is so good. I love how the sponge is shaped. I can really get it up into my eye. Um, it's phenomenal. I will never use another Beauty Blender-esque product. The Eco Tools Bio Blender is it has my heart. Time for a concealer. This is the Clinique Even Better Concealer. I originally got this because I'm diamond. I won't be for very much longer, but I'm a diamond member at Ulta and I think about two years ago, they had given me a free Clinique concealer with $25 of purchase for being a diamond member. And I was skeptical and I tried this and it really just, there's no hype around this concealer and it hurts my soul. The shades are interesting. There is no true neutral shade. This is CN, which is cool neutral too. This is cool. It's not It's not neutral. The concealer pole is really yellow or really pink and there's no neutral, um, but I went with a pinkier concealer because I do have dark circles and I feel like the pinkiness in the concealer neutralizes my dark circles, but it doesn't make my under eyes look pink, look cool, look it wrong you know what I mean it really is phenomenal this is the third time I've repurchased this concealer and that says something because there are so many incredible concealers out there I love the nude sticks nude fix concealer as well I repurchased that three times but there's something about this concealer I feel like it just looks phenomenal whenever I apply it and I could wear it as foundation it's so good so this was on sale at 21 days of beauty I have one open right now and it's getting about that line where I should probably change it out so I bought a backup for when I need to change it out. This is a foundation, which <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done this for a foundation. This is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted, Hy Tinted Glow Hydrator, and I have the shade 20 Fair. I tried this on a 21 Days of Beauty two years ago. Wow, that's crazy to me. Time moves by so fast. Anyway, and I was so incredibly pleasantly surprised by this product. I had never been a Urban Decay complexion person. I've tried before, I hadn't found any I liked. This changed the game. This is a medium. You can build it up to full coverage, tinted moisturizer. It is super glowy, it is super hydrating. It looks like skin. And every time I wear it, I just feel good. And I know they reformulated a little bit because they have a brand new bottle, I have the old one. And so I thought, 
this one is getting at the point where it's been about a year I've had it and I should probably replace it. So I bought one as a backup because when I have to get rid of it, I love it so much that I want to have it indefinitely. So this will be reopened as soon as the other one is thrown out. Again, a first for me. I'm not usually that kind of person. Then we have some mascaras. I'm a mascara girly. I feel like, you know, if I had one makeup product, it would be mascara. My lashes, I'm gifted. I'm, I have my mom's eyelashes and they're super, super long and they're super thick and they're super voluminous and I'm very lucky. And for that reason, I love trying new mascaras. So I do have favorites. I think my top three right now are the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara, the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara, and the About Face Mascara. So good. I have the Milk Rise Mascara, yeah. On a backup, I had gotten it in, I think, a FabFitFun, and I can always use mascara, so it's on my to-try list. But the backup situation is my About Face. I went crazy. This is the About Face Makeup Mascara. I had tried this on a national mascara day at Ulta Beauty. They had it, I think, 30, 40% off. And I have really enjoyed About Face's products. I think they're really creative, they're really fun. And I haven't heard anything about their mascara. And their mascara is like $15. Like that is drugstore price now, which is, it hurts me to say. Remember when mascara was $6 at the drugstore? Bring back that part of 2014 makeup, please. But anyway, I tried it the other day and I was shocked at how incredible it is and shocked that it's not getting any love. This mascara lengthens. It's a wetter formula, which I'm not usually a fan of, but it doesn't clump the lashes together. That's what I don't like about wet mascara formulas. It really separates, it really lengthens, it's a little volumizing, it's very nice. But what's crazy about this, this is not a waterproof mascara. It doesn't claim to be a waterproof mascara. I took this to Puerto Rico when I went on vacation in the 104 degree heat. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I had one mini smudge. I wore this for 16 hours. I slept in it sometimes. It does not come off. It does not smudge. It does not flake. You never have to worry about your mascara ruining your makeup ever again. And I used to be one of those people, I would love a mascara, but it would smudge, it would flake, it'd be awful. No more. So I love that so much. I immediately bought two as backups because I feel like this is, it's on my holy grail top three status and there's a reason for it. So I had to have backups and this was on sale for half off. So this was $7.50 per. Bring back those prices and make it. About Face has greatly priced products, phenomenally priced products. The e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. This is the ultra precise brow pencil. I have it in the shade um, Neutral Brown. I used to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I think my shade was 3.5, which was Neutral Brown. And I liked it, but it was expensive. Like, let's just put all the cards on the table. It was expensive. I tried the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Again, it was expensive. And I was in college. Wow, I've been using this for a long time. I had either just come out of college and I was paying off student loans and the, back then my payments were like $350 a month, thank God for the safe plan. Um, but I wanted to try a new eyebrow pencil and I hadn't really heard anyone talk about this pencil but it's $6 and I tried it and let me tell you, this is the first eyebrow pencil I've used that does not pull too warm for me. That was my big thing with the Anastasia pencil, with the um, Benefit pencil. It always felt a little warm to me. And I have pretty neutral brows. I have a neutral skin tone. Like everything about me is pretty neutral. This baby is so good. It is as good as the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil and it is a fraction of the price. So I, again, when Elf is on sale, I stock up on the brow pencils because it's the only one I use and it's the only one I have been using for years now. Okay, another brow restock moment for me is the ColourPop Brow Boss Brow Gel. This is in the clear shade. I do right now have the Benefit Brow Gel in my eyebrows and I don't know if I love it. It's definitely like you feel that it's got your brows like concreted on your face. Um, this I love because it doesn't. It is flexible, it is breathable, it looks like brows. Um, you can definitely like coat the brows and really stick them to desire. I like a fluffier brow, that's just who I am. And I can still achieve it with this. 
I just feel like this is the more natural look to my brows and that's what I'm looking for. This is again like $6. And so anytime it goes on sale, I buy multiples of these because I use it every single day. The only time I use the Benefit Brow Gel because I'm trying to use it up is when I do my makeup on camera like this. Um, but this isn't my everyday makeup bag. I always have it with me. I brought it with me to Puerto Rico. It's phenomenal. The last thing I have is a concealer. This is from Lancome. This is the Tani Dole Ultra Wear in the shade Beige Ivory. 0110. This shade, I think, is supposed to be my shade. I don't know. It went from like ghost white to this color. And so I got the second lightest shade in the whole collection. Maybe I should have gotten the lightest. Who knows? And I was once beige porcelain in another brand. So we'll try it. Um, I do have one concealer I'm working on right now. But when that is done, I need to have a backup concealer at all times. I need to have the back of the concealer, this one, the Clinique one that goes in my everyday makeup bag. And then I need one for when I'm doing my makeup on camera. So that is my backup for makeup on camera. And I'm really excited to try it because I've heard good things about it. And yeah, it's hard for me not to open it knowing that it's there, but I am strong and I'm going to use the concealer that I have on my face right now that I'm working through. All right, and the last product <laughs> is the Beauty Blender Solid Charcoal. This is $50. Um, sometimes it's on sale at Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and you can get it for $25. And when that happens, I stock up. The only thing I clean my brushes and my beauty blenders with is this solid. I know there are dupes. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've tried a few of them and I'm just not impressed. This cleans in a way that I've never had anything clean before. It's the one I trust the most. So I always have a backup or I always stock up when I can because you always need to clean your brushes. These are all the makeup and skincare products from my backups drawer or my waiting to use drawer. It's more laid out than I expected. I did just get the Fenty stuff in today. It wasn't that crazy until I got the Fenty stuff in and I'm almost out of the cleanser that I'm using. So it will be only two, but I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit of a makeup hoarder. I do, however, know I'll use all of these products. And that's why I decided to get them. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys, am I the only one who has a backup drawer? I feel like that was a big thing, like 2016 YouTube. And I haven't seen anybody talk about that or like their empties. I also don't talk about my empties. Um, Cause I just, I'm, I'm not smart enough to keep them with me. But um, let me know if you guys have a backup drawer. What are your backup products? Like holy grails that you will repurchase over and over and over again. So when they're on sale, you know gonna be in that backup drawer. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you want to. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok for some history content if you'd like that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!